Okay, welcome back to yet another edition to Canteen Cup Tuesday. Of course, I am your host, Matthew O'Flora Boy. Guy, I've been on in a little while because, you know, a couple of things here and there. I went back to work and I've been working a lot, dodging hurricanes and stuff like that. I want to thank everybody who sent me messages, you know, asking of how I went through the hurricanes and everything else. We'll talk about that a little while later. But everything came out okay, no damage to me. Uh, which is a lot more that can be said for a lot of other people. So, let's get into Canteen Cup Tuesday. Real easy selection today. One of my favorites. I can't believe I haven't done it yet. Uh, and remember, Canteen Cup Tuesday is supposed to be easy, cheap, uh, and easy and simple and, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, let's get right into what we're going to do. Okay, pretty easy selection today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of these cool north sides, and this is the chicken flavor noodles. Uh, I was gonna use the rice, but I kind of like the noodles. So we're gonna try the noodles, and we're gonna add a big old can of chicken. There's a problem with the can of chicken. You see that? It ain't got no pull tab on it. So <laughs> we're gonna have to use our friend, the P51 can opener, and y'all know me, I ain't made no uh, secret that I am like can opener challenge. So it, <laughs> we're gonna see, we're gonna see how we open this can. I hate these things, but a P51 is better than the P38. I ain't touching this P38 because I can't use it. So we're gonna open this can of chicken with the P51, but let's get our stove going first. All right, now we got Old Faithful on here. We're gonna carefully measure out two cups of water. That's pretty carefully measured up. Now, let's wait for that to boil up and then we'll start cooking the north side. All right, while we're boiling up the water in our carefully measured two cups, I'm gonna try to use the P51 to open up this can of chicken. Y'all know me, it ain't no secret, I'm can opener challenge. So, all right. P51 is definitely easier to use than the P38. So, all right. It's still, it's still sharp. All right, well, that ain't bad. All right, so let's open this up. Jeez, look at that, first time through. I am calling myself officially not can opener challenge anymore. Look at that, yeah, pop that thing right out there. We're gonna drain that chicken and get it ready to go in the noodles. Okay, so yeah, the water's down there boiling up. We got our chicken, okay, it's all open. With our P51, all right, I'm officially not can opener challenge anymore. So, yeah. Uh, the badass hurricane over there destroyed Fort Myers. A friend of mine has a house over there and he said it was like four feet of water in the house, which is not totally not cool. And it came right over where I'm sitting right now, right this second. It, the hurricane came over here, but it was only a tropical storm. And the wind's like uh, 50, 60, maybe 70 mile an hour. I think they got 81 mile an hour gusts down in Melbourne Beach. And uh, it, it, was, it was blowing pretty good here. But then, about a week and a half ago, we got another hurricane, and it came right over here from the Atlantic side again. And it, was, it wasn't as bad. It was only blowing about 50 or 60 miles an hour then. But, you know, that's, uh, hurricanes ain't nothing to screw around with. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm outfitting my Toyota 4Runner with kind of a bug out box in the back. The box is done. I'm just kind of looking at lid stuff. That's gonna be a cool video. I think you're gonna like that because I can do a lot of other things with that. So, but thanks again to everybody who messaged me asking if I was okay and asked me if I made it through. No problem with me. All right, so let's get on down here and see what we can cook. 
All right, let's check out our water. Uh, it's it's boiling good enough, that's for sure. Uh, I, I I love these north sides. They're they're so easy to make, and they're really really good. This is the chicken noodle flavor. Uh, now, two cups of carefully measured water, and it says we're supposed to put on some butter or margarine. Well, I ain't got no butter, and so we're gonna go without it. Uh, and the only thing better than butter is more butter or bacon. Uh, and I ain't got no butter or bacon. So we're gonna get in the north side here. All right. Again, our wonderfully cool Dollar Tree cutlery set. Now, we gotta bring this up to a boil and then simmer it for like eight minutes. And then we're gonna put the chicken in and mix it all up. So, we're just gonna get her boiling here. And then I'll be back. All right, that is looking pretty awesomely awesome. We're gonna boil that up and then we're gonna simmer it right back down. And then uh, we'll throw the chicken in there. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Yeah. Oh boy, look at that. I love these north sides. They're so easy and you got a lot of choices. Um, they got the butter flavor, or the chicken flavor, or the Alfredo, and all that kind of stuff. Really good for the trail, and really good camping food. Really easy. Um, lots of carbs. Let's see, 45 grams of carbs. Whoo! If you're huffing it on the trail, man, you want them carbs. Um, they got 45 grams of carbs, 230 calories, 450 calories for the whole thing. Whoo, man, it is really, really good. That sauce is starting to thicken up now. Them noodles are starting to get tender. Um, Y'all may hear the traffic behind me, but I don't care. I ain't made no secret. Today, I ain't 20 miles out in the woods. I'm in the big old woods next to my house. And, and I ain't, I ain't in my backyard singing solo overnight in the woods, making tarp shelters out of duct tape. I ain't doing that. Because, you know, I, if, if I'm going out in the woods, I'm going to tell y'all I'm going out in the woods. But I ain't out in the woods today because it's hunting season where I go. And I'm a considerate person. I don't want to tromp around in the woods while people are deer hunting. So we're going to let that simmer on down and then we'll go add chicken. All right. Let's just see where we're at now. Hmm. Mmm. 82 degrees. <laughs> okay. All right, let's check out the north side. See how we're looking. Mmm. Man, that's sticking it up pretty nice. Look at that. The only problem with cooking the north side noodles like this is sometimes, you know, on the, when the stove is down there and all the heat's coming up in the middle, Sometimes some of the noodles burn down and they get stuck on the bottom and stirring it up I can already feel that some of it stuck on the bottom, but hey, I don't care That's just the way it is That's got a couple more minutes and then we're gonna put a chicken in there All right, let's see where we are now Oh, yeah, this is nice and thickened up now. All right, I think we're ready for the chicken so I'm gonna turn off our stove, put that right there. We're gonna get our chicken. We're gonna carefully remove the chicken because we don't want, ah, right when I said, I don't want to spill none, I'll spill some, but I don't care. I'm gonna put it in there anyway. It'd just be a little crunchy. Right when I said, I didn't want to spill none. Damn it. Ooh, man, that's a lot of chicken. <laughs> Oops. Maybe I should have got the small can. Nah. Go big or go home, right? God, man, I'm dropping the chicken all over. All right. It's just chicken. Ain't nothing to it. Now we're going to mix up our chicken. Ooh, that is actually looking pretty darn good. 
no refrigeration required all right so I'm gonna put the top on and let that sit there snapper on let that sit there for a couple minutes and kind of warm up the chicken then we're gonna mix this up all right here we go let's look and see what we got Ooh, wow man that looks good yep the chickens all white and stuff all right now remember earlier I said butter is great and the only thing better than butter is more butter or bacon well I got some bacon bits so we're gonna put some bacon bits in there chicken noodles and chicken with bacon how bad can it be man I thought I had more bacon bits than that I'm gonna have to talk to Mrs. Florida boy when I get home well that's that's looking pretty good a little bacon bits in there Whew. bacon nothing is bad with bacon bacon literally makes everything better bacon should be served at every meal but the one thing that would make this truly great is this is a little bit of my old buddy Cristal hot sauce and y'all know me just a drop all right that ought to do it Ooh, man you can smell that holy mackerel <laughs> oh man I'm dropping it damn I can't waste that all right let's get this just a little sample all right oh that's great okay let's eat this all right here we go north side with a can of chicken some bacon bits and hot sauce man that looks totally awesomely awesome oh. and it tastes totally awesomely awesome too very very easy boil up some water throw the north side in there cook it up the only problem with cooking the noodles north side and the chicken flavor is like I telling you earlier sometimes you can feel the noodles burning on the bottom well so what when you get to a creek you can wash that your canteen cup but it makes a lot it makes like that much of the canteen cup so if you're hiking a lot you know several miles and you're stopping for lunch and you're eating this man you're recharging a lot bacon bits you see the bacon bits in there Mm. and the hot sauce man just tops it off mm. bellissimo or uh, what I don't know whatever it's saying in an Italian restaurant but that's pretty damn good that's all I know um man I haven't done canteen cup Tuesday for a while this is pretty cool um, they're starting to ease up on me from work a little bit I work at a Lowe's uh, home improvement center of course in the hardware and tool department and They've had a hard time uh, getting and keeping employees, so they've been working me a lot. I'm supposed to be part-time, but I was working full-time hours being part-time for the last few months. So, man, there's still some skeeters out here. It's supposed to get cool, they say. Or actually cold for Florida. Uh, <laughs> I think the high Thursday is like 69. <laughs> you guys may laugh. It's 82 now, and I'm sweating a little bit. But it's supposed to cool off. Uh, I got the day off Friday, so I'm going to try to go out Friday. I have some really good video ideas. There's so many ideas that I got rolling. It's just having the time to do them. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get a couple of those out. I'm almost done with the, with the revision to the, to the cargo area in the back of my Toyota 4Runner. And it is working better than I could have even hoped for. I got so much storage space. And plus I can make a lot more out of it so good to be back here like I said on canteen cup Tuesday back with my YouTube crowd and everything is okay from the hurricanes so once again this is Matt the old Florida boy wishing everybody a happy canteen cup Tuesday and I will see you on the trail <laughs>